be showing you guys how to make these fruit rolls and the ingredients are coconut oil, whole wheat bread, peanut butter, but if you want to go healthier, use almond butter, strawberry filling, the fruit of your choice. I use blueberries and strawberries. Once you get your bread, you just want to start cutting off the crusts because we are not going to be using the crusts. And then I just got my jelly and put it on each bread and that's basically what I'm doing. This is honestly one of my favorite desserts that I've made, especially if you have a sweet tooth. But if you want to be healthier, just use whole wheat bread and almond butter and as you can tell, I'm just wrapping them up as little rolls. Then once they were rolled up, I just put some coconut oil onto the pan and I just started frying them. And once they were cooked, I decided to put a little bit of honey to add a little bit of sweetener onto the bread. And then that's when I started to put on my fruit and that's basically it guys. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make this smoothie bowl which is super fast and easy to make. For the ingredients you're going to need low fat yogurt, I have this one, and then some blueberries, raspberries, and a blender. Then I put some of the toppings on top of my smoothie bowl and, and that's it. Third dessert is actually one of my favorite ones and it's super easy to make. You'll need yogurt, some cupcake cups since we technically are making a cupcake, and fruits. Basically putting a little small amount of yogurt onto each cup and that's basically what I'm doing. I actually lost the footage of me putting the fruit into each cup. But, but once you do that, I added one more layer of yogurt and then put them in the fridge. After one hour in the fridge, this is how they look like and they're super good. Finally, I'm going to show you guys how to make this blueberry smoothie. So this recipe is pretty easy. All you need is some milk, a blender, ice, and obviously blueberries, and a banana. I started adding all my ingredients together. One thing that I really like about the smoothie is that it does not need any sugar at all because the banana just makes it sweet already. And then I poured my smoothie into a cup and that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this week's video and I'll see you guys next week. Mwah.